Hi, I'm Allison Pilling, and this is your Spirit Guide message for the week of November 17th to the 23rd, 2024, from my Spirit Guide. His name's Hector the Great Horned Owl. And yeah, the way I channel Hector is um, I call him into my awareness, and I record it, I guess, by, by journaling. So there's visual, there's audio, sometimes there's feelings and sensations. And this is the best way for me to focus on what um, Hector is sharing and then sharing it with you. Okay, so here's Hector's message for November 17th to the 23rd, 2024. Hector is soaring high in the sky as he heads towards us. His gliding wings are spread wide, okay? He lands and Hector shakes his wings and whole body to get adjusted to being on the ground again. He looks up to make eye contact, then speaks. Hector shares. There are many options to choose from this week. Our outlook, outlook will be extremely important since it will direct the overall feel and focus for the eventual results. How do you want to be feeling at the end of this week, month, and year? We need to make decisions that give us the opportunity to feel that. If we keep choosing difficult and depleting, that is what we'll feel. If we choose light and easy, then that is how we'll feel. It sounds simple and it can be. It's just that it involves saying no to people we haven't said no to before. This could feel awkward until the new expectations are established. Focus on the outcome of our actions. What do we want to create and not in the heat of the moment? It will help with establishing the healthy boundaries and routines for ourselves that will carry into the new year. Wishing you all the best in this week to come. Much love, Hector. Okay, so that is Hector, the great horned owl. He's my spirit guide. His message for November 17th to the 23rd, 2024. And yeah, I share messages from Hector every week on the full and new moon and also a monthly message at the beginning of each month. So if you wanna check that out, you can hit subscribe. And also, if you are just interested in developing your own channeling abilities, your own intuitive skills, uh, I have a link in the video description to a course that my mentor, uh, Lori Wilson, and her spirit guide grandmother have shared with learning to connect to the eight sources of wisdom and learning how to just develop and, and build your own intuitive skills. So, yeah, we hold the belief that, you know, it's possible for everyone. We're all intuitive. It's just a skill that needs to be exercised and developed, right? So, anyway, yeah, if you have a comment, share it and check out the course. And yeah, I'd love to see you next time. Take care.